Though the barriers among timelines have been rebuilt after the recent invasion, they remain porous. That is why I chose to secretly surveil all of them, to keep watch for potential aggressors. And my choice has proven wise. There is no shortage of malefactors who wish this timeline harm. But with the advanced knowledge I have gained of their plans, I can coordinate this timeline's defenses. These threats vary in nature and severity, but all risk doing critical damage. With skill, luck, and perseverance, these threats will be defeated. The future of this timeline is now in your hands. May the Elder Gods bless your efforts. The Scorpion invading our timeline also lost his wife and son to Quan Chi's murderous machinations. Consumed by grief, he searched them all to find another Harumi with whom he could rebuild his family. But in timeline after timeline, he arrived too late. Harumi was already dead. When Scorpion reached ours, he was crushed to find that though alive, Harumi was wedded to Kwai Liang. Thwarted yet again, Scorpion's frustration exploded into rage. He has vowed to burn this entire timeline. If he cannot have Harumi, no one will. Denied his family, his clan, and now his vengeance, Scorpion blazes with demonic fury. He will inflict it on all of his tormentors. Even though defeated, Scorpion remained consumed by rage. He was a clear and present danger to all timelines. But I knew that it would take compassion, not combat, to calm his fury. Using the hourglass, I found a timeline that Scorpion could not. One which had an unattached Harumi. This Harumi is unlike any other. Having lost her Hanzo to that timeline's Quan Chi, it is she who has become Scorpion. Bonding over their shared grief, Hanzo and Harumi join forces to defeat evil in her timeline. It is not just Quan Chi who should fear these scorpions' stings.